Good morning everyone, my name is Vijay Gupta and you are watching Biology Classes. So welcome to all of you in this lecture of Biology. Students, today I am going to start a new chapter, especially for my 12th student. And in this lecture, I will teach you about the chapter number 4 of your NCRT book, that is Reproductive Health. So, especially for class 12th, chapter number 4, the Reproductive Health. In this lecture, I will tell you about the definition of reproductive health, about the introduction, about the different problems in India related to reproductive health, what are the problems and their solutions or the strategies in this video. So, let's start the video. First of all, students, we will discuss about the reproductive health definition. What is the definition? The term reproductive health simply means a healthy reproductive organs with normal functions. We all know that male and female both have a different reproductive system. The male consists of male reproductive system while the female consists of female reproductive system. So, it is very important to maintain the health of our reproduction. That's why this chapter is very useful for you. That is reproductive health. The term reproductive health simply refers a healthy reproductive system inside the body and with a normal functions. So, it was the definition not in a normal, in normal way. But according to WHO, WHO means World Health Organization, a proper definition or a standard definition is given. That is, reproductive health means a total well-being, a total well-being in physical, emotional, social and behavioral aspects in reproduction. It covers all the criteria, means our physical development, our emotional, our social, our behavioral all the aspects related to our reproductive system are included in this definition which is given by the WHO. So, the reproductive health simply means the physical, emotional, behavioral, social aspects related to the reproduction. Now, it was the definition. Now, we will discuss about the different kinds of problems and the strategies related to the reproductive health. So, first we will discuss about the problems. So, these are the problems related to reproductive health. Number one is overpopulation. We all know that in India, the, popul the population is growing day by day. So, increased population is the main problem in this field. Because of increased population, there are not a proper facilities available for everyone because there is a lot of people living in a small city, small villages. So, the overpopulation is a big problem. Not a proper medical facility is available to everyone. Uh, when up to a lady, suppose that a lady is pregnant and there is not a proper bed is can be arranged in the, in the hospitals for so many people. So, the main problem is the overpopulation in India. Second problem is early marriage. In several parts of India, the children are often married as they attain the puberty. Puberty means when the male and female are sexually matured, then this condition is known as puberty in India. So, when they, the people are attains maturity, they get married. So, it may be a problem for the mother and for the embryo also. So, it is the main problem of India is early marriage. Now, the next one or the next problem is health of mother. Now, early marriage causes different kinds of diseases in the mother. So, it's a great, it's a big problem that health of mother. If a person get married so early, then he does not has any knowledge about the reproductive system. So, it may cause different kinds of problems related to health in the mother. So, it was a big problem again. Next is deformities in child. Deformities means abnormalities. Suppose a child born and it has different kinds of diseases that may be genetic disorders or any deformities in their body, maybe in your hand, legs, etc. So, deformities are very common. If the early marriage and the health of mother is not good. So, it is again a problem that is deformities in the child. Now, the next is maternal mortality rate. The maternal mortality rate that is MMR. Mortality means the death rate. It is very high in case of early pregnancy. So, MMR or the mother mortality rate or the maternal mortality rate is very common if the female uh, becomes pregnant so early. Next is infant, infant mortality rate. Infant means child. The word infant originated from infancy. So, the child may cause death 
due to the uh, mother's health problem or any other reason so it is also a problem infant mortality rate that is imr now the next one is sexually transmitted infection different kinds of infections may spread in the body of a person if he or she is not aware about the reproductive system that may be any disease like syphilis gonorrhea hiv positive aids these are the some common sexually transmitted diseases which may occur so these are known as sexually transmitted infection because male and female both are not aware about the diseases about their reproductive system so it is the major problem now the last is career after marriage generally the career blocks in case of female it is most probably possible the career of female is not possible after the marriage because she has different kinds of responsibilities uh, about uh, her care about the child about the family different kinds of so the career is generally blocked exceptionally it is possible to maintain the career after marriage but in most of the cases the career blocks especially in the case of female so these were the problems related to the reproductive health now we will discuss about the strategies made by the government in case of reproductive health so the first strategy is family planning program the family planning program was established by indian government in 1951 according to this program we should plan our family so we should stop the overpopulation to we, if we want to contribute for our country then we must use this program family planning program we should not have more than two kids so it is the family program planning program started by the indian government in 1951 next is awareness about reproduction it is very no important to know about the uh, about our reproductive system about our reproductive organ a male must know about the complete knowledge about the reproductive system like what is the testes what is the function of testes different kinds of glands present inside the body their secretions their hormones everything should be known so awareness about the reproduction and about the reproductive health is a very important strategy nowadays indian government is trying to spread different kinds of awareness to the people like with the help of print media or the newspaper you can say or the social media or the audio visible ad tel uh, television radio etc these are the sources of awareness about the reproduction our family our parents relatives friends and teacher also may be a good source of information or the awareness about the reproduction so it is very important to aware about the reproduction now the next is sex education we generally not interested to talk about the sex especially in our country we do not talk about the topic sex so but it is very important to talk about this topic this chapter is actually totally based on the sex education and i will give i will give you a complete sex education behalf of this chapter so sex education by knowing the sex education you will be able to know about your reproductive organs about your reproductive health so in the curriculum of the uh, colleges it it must be included about the sex education that is the most important strategy if a person know about the body about the changes of the body about the changes of their sexual organs then it is very it would be very easy to maintain the reproductive health so it's a very important strategy next is knowledge about reproductive organs and stis stis what stis are sexually transmitted infection so if we want to prevent ourselves from different kind of diseases so it is very important to know to understand about the different kinds of stis yani sexually transmitted diseases so it is very important to obtain knowledge about the reproduction and the reproductive organ and the stis now the next is birth control devices nowadays different kinds of devices have been developed to control the birth or to maintain the reproductive health some common examples are copper tea which is used to prevent the pregnancy condoms cervical cups these are some devices which are used by the male and female during sexual intercourse which prevent the uh, which prevent the birth which prevent the different kinds of sexual disorders also so it is very important to use birth control devices these devices also helps to maintain the reproductive health now the next is 
prevention of sex abuse and sex related crime if we are properly aware about the reproduction about the reproductive organs and about the all the aspects of reproductive health then we must try to stop try to prevent the sexual abuse and the sex related crime which is generally happening in india nowadays maybe rape like this type of problems are very common in india nowadays so if we are aware then we will definitely stop the sex abuse and sex related crime so the next is research in a reproductive health area this field is very important for us and we must support the research in this field in cdri that is central drug research institute lucknow up a new contraceptive pills saheli is developed which is a good method of contraception in females so in this field the scientists have been developed different kinds of new objects in the field of research so the research in reproductive health area we must support this now the next is medical facilities government is generally providing all the medical facilities to different uh, cities and villages in the hospitals so that everyone would get the medical facilities and it can be maintain their reproductive health the proper medical facilities are available then it is very easy to maintain the reproductive health now the last procedure is amniocentesis now what is the amniocentesis amniocentesis is the procedure which is done before the birth of the child before the birth of the child some amount of amniotic fluid is removed from the amniotic sac of the embryo and with the help of microscope the cells present in the amniotic fluids are observed under microscope and after the observation it is revealed it can be revealed that if the embryo has any kind of sexual problem any kind of genetic disorder like turner syndrome klinefelter filter syndrome or any other disease so abortion may occurs so amniocentesis is a technique with, with the help of this technique we uh, we will able to know about the sex of the embryo and about the different kinds of diseases of the embryo amniocentesis test also reveals the sex of the embryo hence it is it is legally banned in some countries because we know that female poeticide is very common in some countries like our india so it is banned in some countries in my next next lecture i will tell you about the detail in amniocentesis i will provide you a full lecture on amniocentesis the discovery the procedure with the diagram so i will tell you in detail about the amniocentesis so in this lecture i told you about the definition of reproductive health about the problems in india related to reproductive health and about the strategies of reproductive health in next video i will talk about the amniocentesis so in this video it was all about reproductive health thanks for watching have a good day